Downtown Youngstown businesses and residents displaced by the deadly explosion at the Realty Building could return to their homes and workplaces as early as next week. The Realty Building's property management and ownership announced that the building's demolition is expected to be down to the fourth floor this weekend, the benchmark that would make it safe for businesses and residents to resume life as normal. So here with more on the next steps in the demolition process, we have owner of the Howland Company and civil engineer, Mr. John Yvonne. John, great to see you in person here. Thank you for having me. Pleasure. Okay, so you've been following the demolition up to this point. Correct. Talk to me about if you think, you know, for a building this size, uh, you know, do you think that it's it's been taken down in a, in a timely manner? Or do you think it's taken a lot longer than it should have? I'll say, because uh, originally before we had talked about the building on how well built it was and how stout it was, right. I don't think it's um, taken a long time. I think what's occurring is it's a stout building. It was put together well. It was riveted connections. So what I'm saying, I think they're just contending with the building being very strong, very well built. So I think the progress is going well. In fact, since they brought in the larger crane, which allowed them to do more impact when they were doing the drop ball procedure, mm -hmm. it um, definitely sped things up. So I think it's accelerated since they brought in the second crane. So, you know, now, John, that we hit this benchmark, allowing the residents to come back, the businesses to, you know, reopen. Where would you say the demolition process would go from this point? We said as early as next week, people might be able to really start coming in. But do, when exactly do you think, like exactly when they might be able to come back? And do you think that, um, you know what, actually, I kind of want to backtrack a little bit. How do you think they can keep even the surrounding area safe? you know, for these people when they do bring them back? Well, I think the way they've been approaching it right now and how they've been controlling it, like I said, they had this, the stairwell was mm -hmm. one of the components that was up in the air, was one of the taller components. Right. They are taking it down in two story segments, so it's a controlled process. So when they do it, they knock it, they cut the supports out, pull it over onto the top of the building that's still there. So it's the safest way to bring that down. They took down the second section of that yesterday. So with that approach and procedures, they truly can control how well they bring that building down from fourth floor down. And what they don't show yet is they have what they call a high reach. A high reach is a hydraulic excavator with extended reach. That has a grapple on the end and stuff. So with that even further, so instead of hitting stuff and watching stuff shatter with that, they can actually go in and start munching on the concrete, the brick and stuff like that too, and then cut pieces out by the torches to do a much better control drop so they actually can do it very safely. Mm, okay, so I want to go back to, you know, the residents now. Um, this is, again, going to allow them to come back and, and after being displaced after several months. If you were there, you had to do the work of what you just explained and doing it kind of in a more concealed uh, way. Do you think the residents probably would be able to come back immediately or would it still take a little bit uh, more time? And, and do you think that um, it's better safe than sorry for them to still not be back yet or could they have even come back sooner? Well, I haven't heard any complaints regarding air quality throughout the whole process because you figure if they took down the highest stories first, mm -hmm. if they had concerns regarding um, constituents within the air, asbestos, stuff like that, that they would have disclosed that by now, and they haven't. And the EPA would have shut the job down and said, hey, listen, we got to take a different approach because we're not content with what's occurring. So with the fact that now it's lower down, they have the hydroblaster, the machine that's actually missed in the building and stuff, I actually think they could, if they say it's cleared past the fourth floor, I actually think they could move back in and move back in safely. Mm. Okay, and you know, once cleanup is complete, all said and done, what do you think can be done with this space as far as redevelopment goes? Well, the funny part was is that building had a bank branch and every floor that it had an apartment on was rented. So obviously it was an ideal spot within the city to own or have something going on. I hope they don't turn it into just a park or a parking lot. I hope they actually maybe turn it back into maybe another structure, maybe retail on the first floor, maybe some apartments on the second, or better yet, um, it's a marquee location within the city. I know Youngstown City has talked about a new city hall. You can actually put a new city hall there with the parking lot behind it for the police and actually, once again, anchor that spot because again, with the hotel and everything else that's going on that and wow, that'd be an ideal location to put something of significance to continue to draw attention to the area. Because I said, again, downtown Youngstown, I think is on the verge of moving forward. Right. This may have hurt 
But I think now with it being over, the excitement and enthusiasm is going to come in for people moving back in and stuff. Okay. Capitalize on it. Yeah. Okay. Right? Well, you, like you have some ideas yourself. Yeah. Yes. You should be a part of this conversation a little bit more. But thank you so much for uh, coming in to talk about this. We do appreciate you. My pleasure. Thank you. All right.